Hi guys, welcome to a new vlog. Today I am so excited to be sharing with you all of my kitchen organization. I purchased everything from Amazon. These are my favorite things. I organized everything from my spices, my cabinetry, pots and pans, my drawers, uh, you name it. We're also gonna be doing a grocery haul and then some cooking. So if you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Let's begin. I have spice organization here. This comes with so many different labels and then 25 spice glass bottles here. I just took these out of the box. These six little canisters are glass and they have like the nice bamboo wood on top and they have the air seal. So these came in a pair and then these five came in a pair. I've got tall ones for pasta and like flour and stuff. And then I got these labels here with different types of writing. If you saw my Christmas gift guide, you know that I had to get this plastic bag organizer. You stuff all of your plastic grocery bags in there and then you can just pull them there as needed instead of having that drawer full of plastic bags that we all typically keep in our home. This is a paper towel rack, so you can put that underneath your cabinet. I'm thinking about putting it on this side underneath here somewhere so it's not on the countertop. You know, like less stuff on the countertop is the goal. And this is a cleaning organization rack that you can put your mop and broom just to organize your cleaning supplies. I'm gonna put that in the garage. And then these are puck lights that you put underneath and on top of your cabinetry. What's crazy is these already come batteries full. Like it, they take three AA batteries and they come already full like that. So you get six of them and it comes with this remote and you can dim the lights as well. I've already installed a couple, so I'll show you guys what it looks like. It's the little things, you know? Okay, so I'll turn it on. And then those, those. Yay. And I wanna put some on the top as well because I wanna put a little bit of greenery and I think the greenery with the lighting looks so pretty in the evening time. My under the sink organization. I actually got these little caddies from TJ Maxx as well and I have all of my cleaning supplies, gloves. Um, I keep the trash bags here and then all of these little brushes and scrubbers on that side. This is where I'm keeping my glass straws and all of my matte black new silverware. These are clean straight from the dishwasher, but you can see all the water spots. You have to polish it before you put it away. I don't have time to do all that, so I just popped them in here, but they are clean. And then these are mine. I always use the wooden ones. Ever since I started using wooden utensils, I just can't go back. The food tastes so much better. And then this is for the oven, of course. This is gonna be the spice drawer. So once I fill all of those glass bottles, they're gonna go in here. And I'll show you guys what that looks like when we're done. In these cabinets, I just have my food. The cabinet above the dishwasher, I have all of my wine glasses, whiskey glasses, a couple more tumblers, all of my iced coffee glasses, bowls, and plates and bowls for dinner. I have our just regular coffee pot, my foam maker, the kettle for tea and just boiling water in general. And then up top, I put all of our coffee mugs. So my mugs, Chris's mugs, tea mugs, and miscellaneous. Underneath the coffee station, I of course have regular coffee, decaf. These are all Chris's supplements and shakers. And this drawer, if you follow me on Instagram, la you've already seen this it's so satisfying when i purchased my brand new pots and pans i also got these heat resistant silicone utensils so that i don't scratch the uh, pots and pans i got these bamboo dividers from amazon as well this is where i keep all of the other utensils i do have a lot so i needed one that was more aesthetically pleasing that I use on a daily basis and this is like all the extra stuff. Below that are my new pots and pans. I got the lid dividers from Target where you can stack all of your lids and then all of these pots and pans came from Amazon as well as the rack. So it's a little tower and then it has like these pieces that pop out. On this side, I have my, I call it my Puerto Rican pot. It's just really big and I use it to make big things of pot roast, big things of pasta when we have family over and things like that. Then I still have this older pot organizer and one old pot that I didn't want to get rid of. It's still in great condition. So that's just kind of off in this direction. Hot sandwich press and some cutting boards. I'm going to go ahead and get started on the spices so I can get those put away. And then I'll show you guys, like I said in another video, uh, when I do fill these up and get my pantry completely done.
getting nervous for a moment because a lot of these spices, I I don't carry these. I don't even know what half of them are. Then I started seeing curry and cloves and dill and Italian and like stuff that I recognize. I'm like, okay, we're good. So don't get discouraged. There's several sheets. There's like 20 different sheets of like every seasoning possible. So you know what I didn't think about? Washing these out first. This is a lot of work. I'm gonna keep going though. This was truly a labor of love. This is so extremely satisfying. There's nothing like cooking and having all of your spices accessible and right next to you. And the one that got me the most excited is this ground allspice. I smelt it for the first time, smelled it, and it was so good. I can't describe it and I don't know what I would use this for, but if anybody has any recipes that entails ground allspice, please share. I think I'll Google it as well, but I just really want to try this. It smells incredible. But anyway, there's the spice drawer done. <laughs> hey bud, I'm so excited. Okay, here are the labels for my larger jars. I absolutely love the minimalist writing on here. I think it looks so pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish doing all of these jars. This has taken me a while. I think I've been doing the spices and like cleaning up and stuff for like two hours. That was a project, let me tell you. Anyway, I can't wait to go to the grocery store and stock up and get everything filled and do the pantry. Ugh, so excited. these containers this was oddly satisfying brown rice my flour all of my baked good stuff I always like to have nuts and pistachios on hand chocolate chips brown sugar back here are the ones that I already had on hand so I went ahead and labeled those as well we have cereal oatmeal pancake mix pretzels and then the jasmine rice I just satisfied happy joy those are all the words that i have to explain today this has been so great it's been a few hours but worth it when i get the baskets from target they're labeled as well and they're woven and good quality and thick the pantry is going to be oof, so good when i get it complete this is the baby gate that we purchased from chewy.com i love it so much it is so convenient and the dogs know their boundaries you just kind of open up the gate go through and then close it behind you now i'm going to go to the grocery store here we have a place called jewel osco and i have to pick up a lot of food i have nothing no condiments no no nada i need to get all the basics all the essentials and i've been following this youtube channel you guys if you have not heard of pasta grammar the wife is straight from sicily thick accent super lovely couple they're so funny it's literally my favorite channel on youtube i watch it every single day it's very wholesome and lighthearted, and you get great simple easy italian recipes that are so authentic and delicious so I'll be making Italian food, so I have to go get all the recipe uh, items. I'm really excited for that, but yeah. 
I think I'm gonna work on some more unpacking. The dining room table comes today, so I should have the dining room table set up and uh, styled and all of that. So I'm very excited to be able to sit at a table. I can't wait to show you the chairs. They're like these faux leather brown and black chairs. Love it. So anyway, let's go to the grocery store. Before I go anywhere, if you have a dog, you already know, if you're wearing black, you have to roll your clothes first, covered in dog hair. It's crazy. I made a grocery list. I actually downloaded a, a new app. I don't even know what it's called. To be honest, it's not even that spectacular, but I just didn't want to have a piece of paper. I put all of my groceries on the list and I'm only purchasing everything from the list because I have meal planned for the next week. And I learned from Frugal Fit Mom here on YouTube that the way that you save 50% of your grocery bill is from meal planning and only purchasing the things on your items rather than going to the grocery store like I typically do and spend $225 a week just saying oh this looks good oh that looks good and then trying to put meals together no ma'am I'm not doing that anymore I am all grown up now in 2022 <laughs> and I am going to save some money grocery shopping. I hate at the end of the week throwing away produce and things that I thought looked good at the moment, but I didn't actually use. Let's go over here. Let's see where I can set you guys down. I don't have my tripod, so it's like really hard to. Okay. How about there? Are you guys comfortable there? I hope so, because that's what we've got. Did I get it all? Hello? <laughs> I'm gonna go get my shoes on and my puffy jacket. I have the jacket with like the Sherpa and the fur, so necessary, but I'm really excited because it's been a high of like 10 to 12 degrees this week and today is a high of 34 degrees and the sun is shining. Today's the day to go grocery shopping. Bottle of water, purse. We are ready to go. Bye kiddos, I'll be back. I'm loving the new car, you guys. I've only driven it a few times. It's just so cold here that who wants to go anywhere? I just like to stay inside. But once the weather chills out, we'll be going on nice drives. The snow has become ice. You see how it's all shiny? Cause it's so cold. Everything's icy. Oh. All right guys, I'm back from the grocery store. Now I did spend $500 because I purchased two weeks worth of groceries and I got non-grocery items and then I had to buy like all the condiments and stuff. Like typically in your house you already have ketchup and sauces and like your flour and sugar and pantry. I had to buy scratch everything. So that's why it was so much. And then this next time I go grocery shopping it should be $125 per week. So that's what I have planned out. Let me show you guys what I got. Starting over here, I picked up some eggs. I have chicken, pork chops, and then a bunch of ground beef. I have some Italian spicy sausage, some Sicilian meatballs. I have a lot of Italian stuff, you guys, because like I said, I've been watching that YouTube channel, Pasta Grammar, and it's just a lot of Italian dishes that I wanna try. So this is a uncured pancetta, and I have prosciutto, and let's see, we have some fresh mozzarella, we have regular cheese, Parmigiano Reggiano, uh, Pecorino Romano, ricotta, mascarpone. I have lots of herbs. I have bay leaf. Oh my, let's try that again. Bay leaf, rosemary, oregano. A tip that I have is if you can make your food with fresh herbs, it tastes 10 times better. Even though dried is the same thing, like the flavor, so much better. So where you can get fresh herbs, I recommend. Thyme, sage, and then basil, of course. I got a bunch of that. I got coconut milk and coconut cream. If you guys have ever had sticky mango coconut rice, 
Oh my gosh, I'll be making that and it's just so good. I have all of my whole peel tomatoes, crushed tomatoes, tomato paste. I have the canned sardines. I have a marinated artichoke capers. I have a beautiful fish back here. I have some tuna, but this is a salmon. I'll be making pasta with the salmon and I'm gonna put artichoke and capers and it's gonna be so good. I got lots of stuff for chili and cornbread. My brown rice, the boys jasmine rice pasta. Of course, Roman likes the spicy ramen noodles. I got guac in the squeeze, sour cream, taco seasoning. Roman makes tacos all the time and he loves that. Maraschino cherry for the dessert that I have planned. Of course, I love horseradish, so I just got some horseradish cream. And then all of the sauces that I say that you typically would have in your fridge, so I have teriyaki, soy, hoisin, sesame oil, uh, sriracha, stuff like that. I have mayo back here. Oh, I'm so excited for this. This is the type of uh, rice slash pasta, I guess, for risotto. I've never made my own risotto, so I'm really excited for that. I have uh, Dijon mustard, a couple of dressings, ketchup. This is an olive oil that is new to me. It says that it's from Italy, made in Italy, sent to us. It was $24 for this. So I'm assuming it's good. We'll, we'll try. My sister-in-law from my first marriage actually went to Italy and brought me back a bottle of olive oil. And my goodness, you can just drink it by the glass. It's so delicious and it just tastes like actual olives. Our olive oil here, trash compared to what it really is. It was very disappointing. Now I love ginger snap cookies and I love gingerbread cookies and I can't find that at the grocery stores anywhere. I feel like that's like an old school thing. So I picked up Anna's ginger Swedish thins. These are so good. Tastes exactly like a gingerbread man. All right, I have strawberries and then I just have some crackers here. Nutri-grain and brownies for Roman, some sliced nuts, roasted nuts pretzels. These are all Roman snacks. I have a loaf of French bread there. And you guys know Chris is such a carnivore, so I just picked him up this jalapeno cheddar beef snack stick. They're just like huge. I don't know. This guy loves meat and potatoes. Oklahoma boy for sure. Over here I have some bakery products, just some bread. Um, what are these called? Marshmallows. My sugar, flour, and then these are so good, you guys. I found them at the bakery. They have cheese inside, like um, like a cream cheese, powdered sugar, and some dough. Very simple dessert, very good. I ate like four of them, so yeah, those are trouble. Over here I have some more bread, Italian seasoned, what are these called, croutons. I got these mushrooms here, these are my first time trying them. And then of course I got parsley, cilantro, bell peppers, kale, onions, Roma tomato, I'm making my own tomato sauces for all these pastas. And then some orange zest for that dessert, celery, frozen peas, frozen broccoli florets, Lots of salad, they were three for $10. Those are those mangoes I was talking about. Bean sprouts for my Asian dishes because Chris loves that. I have tomatoes, I'll be roasting tomatoes with garlic and olive oil and basil, that's gonna be really good. Lots of lemons for the fish and Roman loves to make fresh lemonade. Potatoes, carrots, eggplant, um, avocado, garlic, you know. And that's about, oh, and I got these cookies here, amaretto cookies, and they are quite good. I think I'll be making a ricotta dessert with those cookies. Now I gotta put all of this stuff away. I didn't show you guys like all the milks and the iced coffee and stuff. I've already put that in the refrigerator. Oh, and the last thing that I purchased was Talenti Gelato. I got the Pacific Coast Pistachio. And for Chris, I got the chocolate chip cookie dough. These are so delicious and definitely a high calorie treat. So I'm very careful with those. But yeah, those are all my groceries and I'm gonna get it all put away. Chris is on his way home, um, so I decided to get dinner ready. Right now I have some pork going with some brown rice and some corn. I seasoned the pork chops with garlic, paprika, and thyme, and of course some black pepper. And then I'm just using this Southwest canned corn and this wild rice. Let's turn these over. Wow. This is not my finest moment. My heat is too high. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, send help. Hi. Ho. Ho. There we go. All right, we got some nice char. We're okay, let's turn this fire down. My gosh, I'm not used to this. I'm definitely used to an electric stove. Loving the gas stove, loving it. Like cooking over a hot flame as opposed to a cold flame. <laughs> There's just something about it, like cooking over fire, it's a thing.
not their mess Yeah, you might not be at your best But it's fine I don't mind telling truths when you need to hear them And be kind when that's what you prefer How about when you can't see a way out Help you fight And let you know and there you have it, friends, a quick dinner. I get an F for presentation, but you know, good for you, I guess. Oh, just in time. Just in time for food? Just in time for dinner. Say hi to the vlog. Hi, vlog. Uh, hi to our friends. Hi, friends. <laughs> We are gonna enjoy dinner. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and doing organization with me. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Don't forget you can always follow me on Instagram. I do have that linked in the description below. I think I'm gonna call it a night. So I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your evening or your day and until next time, bye for now. Hello